Yes. You tell me black moves. I tell you black moves. He's been, you tell me what moves he made. You make sure you hit the clock. You know what to do. Three okay. years blind? Let's go. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. It was very cool to be in Armando's bar late at night in Barcelona playing chess. Let's go. My opponent's name is Gentile, and he's a Gentile kind of guy. I mean, he was just really funny and fun. And we played a bunch of games before we played this one. I knew his level. That's why I knew I could challenge him at blindfold chess. D4 again. Yeah. I need to touch. No worries, this time I gotta fix this problem. Don't listen, Don't you don't speak, she speaks, speak. not you, okay? Thank you. Bishop B7, Bishop B7. So, we started this game, I had only three minutes on the clock. I played B6, it had been effective before. We would played a few openings in this line, so I decided to try it yet again. A3. <laughs> you got smart. <laughs> you got smart, honestly. All that play. <laughs> After all that. Uh, C5. The C5. opening went pretty smoothly to this point, and then he played the move A3, a deep move. I kept trapping him by putting the bishop on B4 and stealing his E pawn. So he decided no more, no mas. I didn't want to see it, so he played A3. I thought it was pretty funny that this move was going to bite him on the butt later on. I played C5, and now D5 is probably the best move. He played knight to F3, allowing me to trade and get into some kind of Sicilian formation. Nice C6. And now knight to C6. Wow. <clears throat> he does so much strange songs. Watch the clock, make sure he loses. Knight B5. And here he played knight to B5. And here I saw it coming. Knight dog B5. Yeah. Okay, D6. D6. And I was praying that he would play this line, and he did. Bishop to F4. An aggressive move attacking the pawn on this d6 square. Of course, it's a point of concurrency, as I talk about in my course, as three things are converging on that point, and I have only two things that are guarding it. But look at all the pressure being applied to that square. I have only one move, really, and that is to play e5 to block the bishop. It looks like a defensive move. I love moves like this. You play a move like e5, it actually is an aggressive move. He played bishop to e3. What he didn't notice was when I played e5, attacking his bishop, I was actually dominating his knight on b5. It now has no way backwards, thanks to this crazy move a3 that he played earlier. Like my, my knight oh no, I like your knight a lot. That just yeah, simply yeah. dominates this knight. It has no squares. All those circles you see are covered by one thing or another. Either it's my pieces guarding the squares or his blocking him from going in. Domination is something that crops up again and again and again in chess. And it was great that I was able to do it. Within nine moves, I was stealing a piece. How's this clock? 1.50. My clock? Two. Knight d4. Dog four? Yeah. Pawn takes, please. He put his knight back to d4. Of course, thank you very much for lunch. And then he took, and now it was just time to develop my pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I like my position. I don't know where piece. Bishop e2. Bishop e2, bishop e7. Um, not, uh, king. <laughs> king what? <laughs> Castle, okay. Uh, I'm saying. <laughs> the king. Yeah, it was a pretty funny scene with all the people drinking and laughing. It definitely made for a lot of fun. B4. What? B4. Boy 4. Okay. Now he played B4 being aggressive, and so I knew that I was going to have yet another opportunity to come after him. Yes. F3. Pong F3. Smart man. Before I lose my E4, Pong. <laughs> I, I see, I see. Uh, queen C7. I like that, huh? It's okay. just a test. Okay, okay, okay. Wait till I get... Queen E1. Queen E1? He yeah. failed the test. Knight and after Queen E1, E1, he's looking at the board. Meantime, Knight giving me free pieces. Oh! Boom! 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 <laughs> he failed the test. <laughs> he failed the test. <laughs> yeah, it's no, bad. What do I do now? <laughs> now? No, it's, late now. It's, <laughs> it's late now. <laughs> but what do you do? You cry now. Bishop B3. 
He's Bishop dog three? Yeah. Now he played a bishop to d3, and then a funny I moment happened. C3. This was crazy. I asked to play queen takes on c3. I want to play queen takes c3. And my assistant is trying to help me out by telling me not to take on c3. But I'm like, what? What are you talking about? She's saying, no, there's something on the board. I'm like, I want to take on c3. And both of them are looking at the board, not realizing that I can take. Finally, I said my rook is on c8. And they're like, oh, you can take on c3. That cost me a lot of minutes. I was so upset. He has a queen on e1 and have a rook on c8. Queen takes knight, go. Remember what? Queen takes knight. What is, what is, what is this warning? <laughs> Remember, it's a free piece. All of a sudden, I heard I only 10 seconds left on the clock, and I had to blitz the rest of the way through. Of course, I'm up three pieces. You can count three of them. I should be winning this easily. 15 seconds. Me? 96. What? Six. I have nine seconds. Six seconds? What have you been doing, Issa? What the heck? But unfortunately, my time ran out, and he won his first game against me in all those tries. Okay, Queen guys won. Queen knight takes e4. How did we lose on time? How could we lose on time? We had so much time. Pretty funny though. Blindfold blitz is always hilarious. Now, this turned out to be a lot of fun. We took it all in good spirits and had a great night hanging out at Armando's bar. <laughs> so if you're interested in these types of geometric ideas, you can look for my course on Chessable. The title, The Secrets of Chess Geometry. I, I want a new partner. <laughs> it's all right, we're good, we're good.